Today, NASA announced that Aerojet Rocketdyne has been awarded a contract to restart the production of the RS-25 engine for the core stage of NASA's new Space Launch System, or SLS. SLS will be the new, flexible, and evolvable heavy lift vehicle for NASA. The new contract expands upon the pre-production activities currently underway and will lead to recertification of the RS-25, which originally flew as the Space Shuttle main engine, SSME. Four RS-25 engines will be used on the core stage of each SLS. Verification testing is planned to be performed on two development engines and certified with a new production engine, with a proven track record of safety, reliability, and performance on 135 shuttle flights. The new RS-25 will bring higher operational capability, modern production processes, and long-term affordability benefits for SLS. They will incorporate simplified yet highly reliable designs to reduce fabrication cycle time and cost. For example, the main combustion chamber will be fabricated at less than half their original cost and schedule. Flex hoses will replace complex articulating joints at a fraction of their original cost. The nozzle jacket will be made with reduced piece parts, thus requiring less welds and inspections while improving overall quality. These engines will also feature a new controller that will have future expansion capabilities and incorporate modern electronics that will be readily available for decades to come. Overall, the engine is expected to be dramatically simplified, with over 700 parts and 700 welds eliminated while being certified to a higher operational thrust level. Aerojet Rocketdyne will focus on a wide variety of affordability initiatives to ensure long-term sustainability and value of the RS-25 for NASA. Ongoing value stream mapping, VSM analysis, will have the potential to identify significant costs and schedule benefits by eliminating inefficiencies, redundancies, or waste in the production process flow. VSMs will be thoroughly applied in the restart of RS-25 for SLS. Aerojet Rocketdyne has also invested over $200 million toward a lean, state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Los Angeles for all large, liquid engine production. Overall facility footprint was reduced from two to one manufacturing site, resulting in high utilization and lower operating cost. Modern fabrication tools such as single setup high-speed machining, white light inspection and 3D additive manufacturing are utilized that yield higher efficiency, quality and shorter production times. Engine and turbo pump assembly have also been consolidated to strategic centers at NASA's Stennis Space Center and the company's West Palm Beach facility to maximize the usage of common processing infrastructure and sharing of like skills and resources. Aerojet Rocketdyne will be partnering closely with the existing supplier base, as well as forging relationships with new contractors. Over half of the anticipated suppliers for RS-25 will be common with existing programs to leverage their unique capabilities while extending the strong business relationships into the future. The first flight of the SLS will be configured for a 70 metric ton lift capacity and carry an uncrewed Orion spacecraft around the moon in 2018. Eventually, as SLS evolves, it will be the most powerful rocket ever built and provide an unequaled lift capability of 130 metric tons, capable of propelling astronauts aboard the Orion spacecraft or launching cargo or exploration vehicles to multiple deep space destinations, and eventually to Mars and beyond.